Hey guys, I'm so glad I get to come to you today and do a little video. We're going to use, y'all remember this book right here, right? So we did this last week um, before we got out for spring break. And I'm going to use one of these in here and do a little short how to draw video for one of those Zentangle patterns. And then you can practice along with me. Um, I miss you. I can't wait to see you again soon. Everybody stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't forget to wash your hands. And let's do some art. So today I'm in my home studio and I have brought with me from school all my books that I have um, that have to do with Zentangle. And I'll link these books in my description uh, below this video if you want to look up any of these for yourself. Um, on this page, I'm going to draw four squares. And y'all remember these little handouts that I had on the table before spring break? I'm going to go through here and I'm going to pick out one pattern and that's what we're going to do in this video today. So I want to pick the W2 pattern and I put a link to our Google Drive where you can print this um, instruction sheet if you want to. So I'm going to use my Sharpie and I'm going to draw four squares on this paper. I'm gonna use it with four different patterns. So in this video, you'll just fill one square. And then in the next video, you'll use it on, on the other three squares. So we're going to look at step one on this handout and we're going to put an even number of squares in our space. So I'm going to put four across and five down, which gives me 20 squares. I'm going to make sure that they are evenly spaced and each tiny square is about the same size. Okay, now we're going to look at step two and step two is the, where it gets tricky. So we're going to put some lines on the inside of these squares and then we're going to skip down. It's going to look like we're making a bunch of H's on our paper. Now that I have those done, I'm going to do the outside where I skipped over those, those lines, I mean those squares, I'm going to go to the outside of those. We're going to start making the ribbons for our weave. It looks like a basket weave. So I'm going to go the outside of these squares and the outside of those squares and connect those. finished with step three I'm gonna go on to step four and I need to I'm gonna turn my paper because it'll make it easier for me to remember the pattern remember I gotta do the inside first and the outside second and this is gonna make it look like our ribbons are weaving 
up and over each other. So I'm gonna go the inside where it looks like that ribbon goes underneath. And then I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna go the inside again. I wanna finish these ribbons out to the edge of my paper. So I, I'm on the edge of my square actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish those out. Now that I have my basket weave all woven and everything looks like it's going up and over, up and over, I'm gonna use my Sharpie. Here comes the fun part. I'm gonna use this Sharpie and I am going to complete my drawing by tracing over all of my pencil markings. Now I need to take my eraser and I'm gonna clean up my drawing. So any of the pencil markings that I can still see where I didn't trace over them exactly, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. Now I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna shade where that ribbon goes over itself. So you gotta pay attention to where you're shading. Anywhere that you see that ribbon passes over and you're using your overlapping skills, that's gonna create a shadow. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna do a little bit of pencil shading. And then I'm gonna use what's called a smudger. I guess it's called a smudger. I don't know, that's what I call it. I'm gonna call it a smudger. And it's really just a piece of paper that I have rolled up really tight so that I can smear that pencil. So here's my smudger that I made. I just took a piece of paper in a triangle shape and rolled it up real tight into a pencil looking type thing. And I'm just gonna smear that pencil mark, those pencil markings to where it just looks like a shadow. 